Welcome to Worship This Day. We hope that you can enjoy the online experience. If you happen to be watching this before 10 a.m., come join us at Grace Lutheran Church in person outside under the tent. It looks like all the indicators that it's going to be a beautiful day. Come and enjoy the car show afterward. Wanted to also share with you that we are getting ready for our Replace, Repair, Renew campaign. We are at the stage of Renew. We have already replaced and we have already repaired. So now we're trying to get gain monies for a new HVAC. Thank you for those who have generously given to that thus far. Relay for Life is a week from, well actually it's a week from today when I'm taping. Uh, it's uh, this Saturday and we hope that you're able to support that here in Barry County. Time Talent Surveys are due Monday. We hope that you're able to turn one in. And we're looking for a couple more money counters. If you're at all interested, please call into the office and let us know. God's blessing be with you. May you enjoy worship this day.
spirit of gentleness. I just feel this beautiful spirit-filled day as I was driving here looking at the clouds and just singing, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And that's what I sang all the way here. It's not in here, but the spirit of gentleness, he gave us a beautiful, gentle day today. Yes, he did.
first the kingdom of God. welcome you to come together to know God's love and grace. Each day we have a challenge. Today's challenge that we hear about and hear proclaimed from our gospel is we shouldn't hoard things. We shouldn't be selfish. We shouldn't go and keep that we, which we have and just keep it for ourselves, but to share it abundantly and freely. We thank all those who have given themselves for this to be happening, for us to come together this is the largest we've had since COVID hit. So thank you. We're glad to, to see this outdoor service continuing to grow and grow as we come together again. I invite you to repeat after me, except for the last line's a little different, and we'll sing this through three times. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name in the name of the Spirit, in the name of the Spirit, the three in one, the three in one. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Spirit, in the name of the Spirit. Let's pray. Benevolent God, you are the source, the guide, and the goal of all of our lives. Teach us to love what is worth loving, to reject what is offensive to you, and to treasure what is precious in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Vanity of vanities, says the teacher. Vanity of vanities, all is vanity. I, the teacher, when king over Israel and Jerusalem, applied my mind to seek and to search out by wisdom all that is done under heaven. It is an unhappy business that God has given to human beings to be busy with. 
saw all the deeds that are done under the sun and see all is vanity and a chasing after wind. I hated all my toil in which I had toiled under the sun, seeing that I must leave it to those who come after me, and who knows whether they will be wise or foolish. Yet they will be master of all for which I toiled and use my wisdom under the sun. This also is vanity. So I turned and gave my heart up to despair concerning all the toil of my labors under the sun, because sometimes one who has toiled with wisdom and knowledge and skill must leave all to be enjoyed by another who did not toil for it. This also is vanity and a great evil. What do mortals get from all the toil and strain with which they toil under the sun? For all their days are full of pain, and their work is a vexation. Even at night their minds do not rest. This also is vanity. The word of the Lord. We read from, responsibly from Psalm 49. Hear this, all you peoples. Give ear all who dwell in the world. You will find green and low, rich and poor together. My mouth shall speak of wisdom, and my heart shall meditate on understanding. I will incline my ear to the proverb, and set forth my riddle upon my heart. Why should I be afraid in evil days, when the wickedness of those at my heels surrounds me? The wickedness of those who put their trust in their own prowess, and most of their great riches. One can never redeem another, or give to God the ransom for another's life. For the ransom of life is so great that there will never be enough to pay it. In order to live forever and ever and never see the grave. For we will see it in the wise eye also, like the dull and stupid they perish, and the eager of those who come out of them. Their graves shall be their homes forever. Their dwelling places from generation to generation, though they had named lands after themselves. Even though on earth they cannot live forever, they are like the beasts that perish. A reading from Colossians. So if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth, for you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, whatever in you is earthly, fornication, impurity, passion, evil desire, and greed, which is idolatry. On account of these, the wrath of God is coming on those who are disobedient. These are the ways you also once followed when you were living that life. But now you must get rid of all such things, anger, wrath, malice, slander, and abusive language from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have stripped off the old self with its practices, and have clothed yourselves with the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge according to the image of its creator. In that renewal, there is no longer Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave and free, but Christ is all and in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks. 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 Thanks.
Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. And someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the family inheritance with me. But he said to him, Friend, who set me to be a judge or arbitrator over you? And he said to them, Take care, be on your guard against all kinds of greed, for one's life does not consist in the abundance of possessions. Then he told him a parable. The land of a rich man produced abundantly, and he thought to himself, What should I do, for I have no place to store my crops? Then he said, I will do this. I will pull down my barns and build larger ones, and there I will store all my grain and my goods, and I will say to my soul, Soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this very night your life is being demanded of you, and the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So it is with those who store up treasures for themselves but are not rich toward God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, o Christ. to come up the young ones who are here if you would like to come up you don't have to come physically here but now would be the time if you're going to and you can sit right here on a chair all right well, you're not coming up. I have a question though for all of you when you have an apple and it sits out for two months what happens? It dries up, it gets rotten. Bananas, black bananas, you've seen them. Oh! Banana bread. Well, and hopefully you catch it in time for banana bread and not that it's so bad that it tush it. You know, I, I found a banana once in my cabin. I wondered what the smell was, and a kid had brought a banana, and I literally my hand went through it. <laughs> That's what happens when we don't share what we have, that we try to hoard it, try to keep it, try to make it our own. And we hear today that call for us to give away the fruit that we have, to share it abundantly and willingly with others. So uh, I, I want to share just a word of advice so I can't hoard it. I see Vicky Saucier trying to getting more and more in the sun. What's going to happen is the sun's going to shift. So you might want to move like more down into the center of the, uh, uh, you know, and, and I, that's just advice because I don't want to hoard it. I want to share that you might want to shift during the service because the sun's going to come and get you and burn you up. I don't want you to do that. Okay. Let us pray. Dear God. Dear God, help us always, help us always not, to hoard, not to hoard, but to share things abundantly. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Wow, this is an audience <laughs> participation song. We know that. Because um, we only have the apples on here, but I kind of need a few more fruit. Oh, man. And I saw a couple kiddos. I gave them a job ahead of service. Raylan, what's the name of a fruit you want to sing about? Can you tell Grandma? Uh, where's our other little person? He was here. We got rid of him. Uh, <laughs> and I need a brave older kid to tell me. A fruit. Tomato. 
peace be to you from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who gives us good fruit amen. amen well Laura and I have moved here now several years ago it's now been I think four full summers and it's the start of fifth of everything for me though so it's weird you know it's one of those things that you do not ever expect to have happen in your life to had two years of ministry and then boom, everything stops. And in a way, we started rotting, you know? We started rotting, we started not having that wonderful, fresh newness of life. And our crowd shows that. I mean, when I first came, we were busting, busting out the seams. Now we're good. We are absolutely good for where we were with COVID and where the fruit got kind of uh, nasty and gnarly, now we've kind of peeled off that dirt, peeled off that mold, peeled off that yuck, and now we're seeing something new. The man who was in Jesus' story was a man who hoarded everything, and I can only imagine that everything he touched, everything that was going on in his life, started going rotten you know I mean think about it he's building huge barns my own cousin we were at his house this past spring and we saw his larger and larger and larger barns his grain holds and and we we were noticing that and he said and look at this newest one I have 
and they've grown and grown and grown the farm. And I'm like, Dick, what are you going to do with this? Actually, I said Growl, because we call him by his last name. <laughs> Growl, what are you going to do with all this? He goes, not worrying about it, it's not mine. It's my kids. Wow. See, that, that's the danger. I think we get ourselves into thinking and hoarding for ourselves, and yet I think it's okay. Some people say that this is about selling all your possessions and going and giving it all to church. I don't agree. I don't even think that it's about possessions being evil and how dare we have possessions. I don't agree with that either. I think possessions are wonderful and that they can be really a wonderful gift to the church. I think they can be a wonderful gift that we give to others as long as we don't hoard them. That's the danger. And I think they can be a wonderful presentation, a wonderful <laughs> gift for us to share abundantly that wonderful fruit that we are given. Over and over and over and over and over though our tendency is to think about me, myself, and I. But we're not called to that. Jesus tells us the problem of us wanting to go and say, hey, I want my right inheritance. Hey, I want what's due me. Hey, and Jesus says, who am I? And then he tells this parable about a person who isn't hoarding, about a man who really does hoard, but then in the end, doesn't because he dies suddenly and who's going to have that stuff well I think Raul named it rightly it's not his he didn't go that next step though and say it's God's I think he, he he's a man of faith and if I would have pushed him I think Raul would have gotten there as a pastor I'm like immediately going oh you could have said God's it's all God's and then said and yet you know our son's go, Dickie's, go, uh, not Dickie, Danny. Danny, thank you. Too, too, too many D's and Dickie's and, um, are, 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 are the ones who's going to get it. Because Danny's the one who is running the farms now. Growl is getting old. Growl is that part of life where he's seeing all the abundance and seeing all the good stuff. And he realizes he just can't hold it all. I'm sure like I said starting out you're like me you find out that maybe you're kind of like a hoarder because we moved from a larger house to a smaller house and we realized how much stuff we had Erin is shaking her head abundantly very abundantly because she just moved from a house and realized how much stuff she had to pitch and get rid of and mostly give away that's the neat too. thing. Yeah. That's Thanks the neat thing. <laughs> you can give it away. Instead of hoarding it, instead of having it and being selfish, you can give it away. But I have to tell you, I have a hard time even with little paper decorations. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll admit, I've kept all of Le Ethan's Legos, every one of them. I mean, I have stuff stored in the storage, boxes of these things that are stuffed in the storage. And I have Anna's artwork and Ethan's artwork stuffed in storage. And I have my grandmother's beautiful cedar chest that now the TV sits on. At first it was stuffed in storage. Didn't use it at the old home, but when we moved here, we made sure to use it. We hoard, we have a contemplation of keeping it, and even these beautiful Easter paper decorations that the kids cut out with their hands, those little tiny hands that made Easter lilies. Can't get rid of them. <laughs> Why? Because I don't look at that possession as greed. I don't look at it as something that I must keep, but something that is attached to a memory. It's Ethan's Legos. It's Anna's ballet shoes, it's their artwork. How can I just throw that away? I'm not sure God is calling us to throw those type of things away. I'm thinking that God wants us to give away that which we really don't need at all and have no attachment 
and Aaron knows that too. There are things that we can go, I haven't seen this for years, or I don't need this for years. There's an entire sofa of my college stuff with three ring binders and books and notebooks that are there. And I bet ya, I could throw everything, every single one of those items away and not miss it. It's dead. It's bad fruit. Where am I going to use it? When am I going to go up and do another liter literary education program in an elementary school? Probably never. But I still have it. I still keep it. May God stir up in you to release that which is calling you to give away. You'll know that by going, I really don't need this, and just give it away. You'll know it. It will be there. It will be obvious. But if something inside of you goes, I just can't give that Lego set away, I just can't give those ballet shoes away, that's okay. Because somehow, someone's going to need that somewhere for something. And may we give glory to God by letting go, trusting in God, and giving it away. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Trusting in God's extraordinary love, let us come near to the Holy One in prayer. <coughs> oh God, you are wholeness. Where there is division in your church, bring re reconciliation and healing. Guide the work of theologians, Sunday school teachers, seminary professors, and all who provide instruction for the building up of your church. We especially name bishops Elizabeth and Craig, assistants David and Roseanne, our synod companion, St. James Lutheran Church, Rogers City, Middleville Wesleyan Journey Church, Minister of Music Cindy, and Pastor Ken. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. O oh God, you are the source of all life. Where creation cries out in distress, bring relief and renewal. Bless farmers, ranchers, distributors, and all who provide our food. Nourish the land and all its inhabitants. Hear us, O God. O God, you are wisdom. Where nations and communities yearn for peace, bring justice. Strengthen those who toil for the welfare of others, especially military personnel, police, first responders, and activists, and for the healing of the nations. Be with those who safeguard the world, especially Parker Stansel, Cody and Marina Crawford, Cynthia Rudisell, Joel Taggart, Julia Errett, and Seth Donkey. Hear us, O God. O God, you are life. Where your people are overwhelmed with the busyness of life, bring encouragement. Accompany all who experience emotional, mental, or physical distress, especially Jenny Anderson, Veronica Barson, Mark Benda, Keith Boucher, Cherie Clements, Deanna Darnell, Bob and Bonnie Errett, Kathy Engel and family, Jean and Julie Fogarty and family, Mike Fruth, Greg Franks, Jeff and Sue Gibbons, Lori Gladiness, Carl Golnack, Charlene Hall, Judy Heil, Mike Hoppy, Bill Melcher, Rick Palmer, Annette Poholsky, Susie Smith, Jackie Staple, George Ulrich Jr., Carol Boss, Cheryl Wilkie, and the family of Rob Young. Renew us at your table of mercy. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. O oh God, you are our treasure. Where scarcity and anxiety pervade your church, bring abundance and vitality. Guide the work of church councils and committees and give them clarity for the work of ministry in this place. You may enter your own prayers at this time. For the flood victims of Kentucky. Lord, I lift Seth up to you as he leaves today for Paris Island, South Carolina. He begins his journey as a Marine today. God, we give thanksgiving to celebrate another year of life for Anne, and also we give thanks and celebration to recognize another year of wedded bliss. Lord, I also give you thanks for all the people who came together through many committees to put this put this day on for you, Lord. In your glory, we just thank you um, that you put in our hearts the desire to try something new and exciting, and it's all in praise of you, Lord. Oh God, you are resurrection. We give you thanks for all your saints. Inspire us by their example of faithful living to set our minds on things above and to be rich in love toward you. Hear us, O oh God. 
and your mercy is great. Receive the prayers of your children, merciful God, and hold us forever in your steadfast love through Jesus Christ, our holy wisdom. Amen. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. Also with you. I invite you to share that peace as you're comfortable doing so. <laughs>
If you're thirsty, there's water back there. If you're too warm, there's water in the cooler back there. pray. Blessed are you, O God, for the greening earth given for all, for the talents we are given to share, and for the blessing of your presence. Transform us to be the body of Christ, that our lives may reflect your generosity, through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ, who on this day overcame death and the grave, and by the glorious resurrection opened to us the way of everlasting life. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the host of heaven, we praise your name forever. Amen. And the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. For as often as we eat of this bread and drink from this cup, we proclaim that <coughs> Jesus is among us. Amen. Amen. Gathered by the Holy Spirit, let us pray how Jesus taught. You're okay. <laughs>
taste and see that the Lord is good. Thanks be to God. As you can tell, there's baskets on either side, so as this side comes around this way, you'll come down the center aisle and go around and put your empty cup there, this side, opposite direction. <laughs>
body of Christ in human Let us pray. O oh God, in this holy communion, you have welcomed us into your presence, <coughs> nourished us with words of mercy, and fed us at your table. Amen. 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 have the big announcement that there's a barbecue right after so we hope that you can stay for that that's probably the most important mission minute that I can share with you want to thank all those who have brought their cars um, Gary was worried that we wouldn't have much of a show but as we can see it did fill out anyway even though we had competition direct competition at uh, Battle Creek so the battle was there, and not that we won, but we all get to share, and that's beautiful that we get to see that. We are looking for a couple money counters. Uh, Linda, being uh, one who has become treasurer, is no longer eligible to count, so still looking for a replacement now. We're just beginning. I shouldn't say we are still looking for it. It sounds like it's been months. It's been a week, you know, and so we're, we're hopeful for that, that if you are someone who is definitely in the uh, non-working time, especially, um, that you might have freedom to come and do that. If you are working, of course, we like to keep it during the day so we can watch you. <laughs> no, I, it's really the most convenient time, but I'm sure if you're working, we can work it out where we can make a nighttime pairing happen. So I just wanted to say that in a joking way so we can think outside the box, okay? So don't feel like, oh, I'm working, I'm not gonna put my name in, not at all. And it's only about eight times a year that we need you, 12 times a year, I lied, 12 times a year, about basically once a month, okay? Um, but we do it in a pairing way right now in a in a way where you're on for two months and then you're off for two months i uh, believe so you know it will work out that way um, if you're willing to come and be a part of that and we can make that schedule even lighter if we have three people come forward <laughs> wonderful wonderful okay. uh wanted to also say relay for life is this saturday is there any special announcements oh yes just wanted to thank people i know you've started to bring your back bags back you can do something like this one where we've added a picture and so we have beloved granddaughter kate 20 year survivor isn't that beautiful and when you fill the bag with light it's even better um we have in honor of i won't read them all but you can list more than one name on the bag um, we have this one, they can be simple, they can just be loving, they can tell who it is, a father and husband, Air Force veteran. Oh wait, I have a blank one here. In fact, I have about 20 more blank bags. They are a $10 donation, more if you like, or if you really can't do the donation and you still want to have a bag, please do that. Um, the walk is this coming Saturday, 6 o'clock is a survivor walk, all the details are in the bulletin. But at 9 o'clock, we fill the bags with lights, and it's a 
beautiful walk. It's right here at Titan Park in Hastings. So <coughs> please see me today. Um, all the setup is kind of in the gathering area. Thank you. And finally, our time and talent survey is due tomorrow. So if you can uh, take some time, there are some still left in the gathering yeah, area. Uh, and But if, if not, that's okay. We'll always take a late one. But if you said, oh, I have it filled up pastor, yes, we will accept it. But we're trying to get that information out um, this week for those committees because starting August 1st is a new council year, a new time. And so we're trying to get that to the committees. Are there any other announcements to share? I have one. On behalf of this Middleville Scout Troop 105, thank you for renting your tents through them. They appreciate it. Right. We're glad to have the, the shade. I'm glad they set it up for us. <laughs> Let us receive the blessing. Live your lives in Christ, rooted and built up in God and abound in thanksgiving. The blessing of the Holy Trinity, one God, be upon you and remain with you forever. Amen.
ready to go, let us pray. Gracious God, we ask your blessing upon us as we fulfill eating your bounty. Let us not hoard anything, but give it away and share it with others, that we might be people who use our possessions well and give you glory through them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.